So we have talked about the basic features of Streptococcus species bacteria. Now in this video we will be talking about the uh, clinical significance of Streptococcus species and different types of infections and diseases that are caused by Streptococcus species. Now I have told you that Streptococcus is also a serious concern like Staphylococcus. Now there are several different types of diseases and, sim uh, and different clinical conditions are caused uh, due to the Streptococcus infection but here I will be talking about only major four uh, different diseases. So let us talk about that. So the, if we talk, the first one I'm going to talk about is acute pharyngitis or simply pharyngitis. So first one is acute pharyngitis. Pharyngitis. G-I-T-I-S. Pharyngitis. So this is or, or simply pharyngitis. In, in both these cases, it is most common type of step, streptococcus pyogenes kind of infection. So the infection is caused by streptococcus pyogenes that's why i've told you that this is a very very dangerous guy because it is caused by streptococcus pyogenes and it is the most common one so it is also called streptococcal pharyngitis now in this case it's in uh, uh, it's, it's simply the inflammation of the posterior or oropharynx we all know that this is the tonsillar area so it's uh, simply the inflammation of so inflammation of tonsillaria right so tonsillar area so this is what we call acute pharyngitis now it also uh, rash development of rash and obviously rash uh, development in neck and also trunk and extremities in response to the release of pyogenic exotoxins occurs in this particular case and uh, and obviously this is very very painful situation because uh, when when a person catch this particular kind of symptoms uh, the eating of food is literally halted in this particular case right the second important uh, type of symptoms or disease that that they can cause is impetigo so let me write impetigo is impetigo is the second kind of most common type of symptoms now it's also it is caused by it is usually caused by staphylococcus aureus but is also uh, caused by some streptococcus species also right now this disease begins on any exposed surfaces like most commonly they are found to be uh, exposed by uh, surface like legs so leg surface is much more vulnerable so let me write leg surface is much more vulnerable to catch this impetigo symptoms or impetigo diseases right and it can cause severe and extensive lesions actually impetigo means simply uh, it's a severe uh, severe lesion so let me write simply it's a it's a lesion so lesion that is created right now in this lesion we are having a lot of uh, streptococcus species uh, staying there right and it can be treated with a tropical agent such as uh, uh, mupirocin right it can be treated with mupirocin but still this is a kind of deadly situation because eventually this lesion will convert itself into uh, what we call a, a, a necrosis or necrosis of tissue necrosis of tissue can be resulted in this case okay so that's why it is also dangerous this impetigo is also dangerous now the third kind of uh, diseased condition that can be caused by streptococcus uh, species especially streptococcus pyogenes is rheumatic rheumatic fever it is mostly caused by this hemolytic kind of streptococcus but this rheumatic fever means this is a kind of autoimmune autoimmune disease now in this case this this particular disease is obtained due to the cross interaction or cross activity of heart and heart and knee joint antigen uh, knee joint cell cell antigen right so that these are the major causes but in in this all this kind of remote remote uh, fever and all these cases there are always the self reactivity of our immune system so our immune system recognize itself as a foreign 
particle and it is providing the response against itself so that's a self destructive kind of disorder now it can result in several type of uh, symptoms like rash like fever and also arthritis it is also called the rheumatoid arthritis it is very common type of arthritis that are found so in this case it is going against our immune system playing with our immune system actually okay so this is the third kind of infection and the fourth type of symptoms or fourth type of disease that they can cause is streptococcal streptococcal toxic shock syndrome I am not writing as simply as toxic shock syndrome because toxic shock syndrome is also caused by Staphylococcus aureus, right? So toxic shock syndrome. Now that's why it is called streptococcal toxic shock syndrome. Now in this case of strepto streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, is is the mechanism of to toxic shock activity is the same. So it is uh, simply the interaction. It's it's simply the interaction of 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 a T cell, so it's simply let me write it says it's simply the interaction of our host cell, say MHC for example, this is the antigen for example, with the T cell. So let's let's draw this is the T cell, right? So say this is the T cell. So simply the interaction. Now in this case, they are producing the streptococcus. In this case, is producing. Exotoxin, cell destructive exotoxin. Now this exotoxin here is acting as it is acting as super antigen, right? It's acting as super antigen. Now as it is acting as super antigen, this exotoxin is replacing uh, the antibody, uh, this peptide sequence or antigen peptide presented by the MHC molecule, right? And as a result of that, it will trigger the activity or, or response that will call upon many more T cells and different uh, cytokines, which are the chemokine factors or chemical factors, and more T cells. So, this ultimately results in uh, propagation of T cells and finally this uh, this chemical mediators like cytokines and leukotrienes and all these things will damage the tissue so end product of all this thing is tissue damage right end is the tissue damage and finally it can cause disease okay so these are the major four types of clinical conditions that are brought about by a streptococcus species